Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Filster Floodlight Holster. I've got it attached to a core battle belt. This is the uh, floodlight for the TLR-1. As you can see, this thing is very, very well built. It's a very nice holster. I've got it on a Safari Land mount, so it drops down a little bit. Uh, I'm a big guy, I'm fat, so I don't like having a gun high up on my waist when I carry it. Uh, and I just got this as a uh, battle belt setup. And we've got four guns out here on the table. I want to show you that all four of them actually fit in here. Anything with the TLR-1 attachment, as far as I've seen, should fit most guns, should fit most uh, carry guns that people are going to have. Uh, we're going to try it with a Glock 19. We're going to try it with a Beretta M984. We're going to try it with a uh, Palmetto State Dagger and a Glock 21. Now, the Glock 21 doesn't have the TLR-1 on it. It's got the Hollow Sun uh, PID light, but I'm just going to show you that the 21 is a little bit too wide. But these do come with different mounting positions, so you can open and close your holster up as needed. Now, the holster itself holds the light only. It, if you want to put your gun in there without a light on it, it's not going to hold it because here's a TLR 1HL. You slide this in there. And you can see how that locks up. We'll turn it around, and it locks the whole the gun up really, like really good. Like it's not. It would take a lot to get that out of there. So we'll try it with a few guns. I know we have a lot of safety officers out there that always just want to know if your guns are cleared, like you're going to get hurt through the camera. But here's a 19 cleared. A dagger, clear. M984, clear. And a Glock 21, clear. I got this because I wanted to put my M984 in it. It's really hard to find a left-handed holster for an M984 with the TLR1. But I was able to use this filter. That's the reason I picked it up. And I like the fact that it works for multiple guns. Turn it around so it's easier for you guys to see it. And it goes right in. Locks it up pretty good. Uh, I got this a little bit loose because I was playing around with different guns to see what fit best. But it's a little loose in there. But the bread also has a very thin slide compared to the Glocks. Now we'll try it with the Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS. Locks up in there pretty good. Like it comes out. But like I said, I was trying to get my 21 to fit. And here it is with the PSA dagger. It's not as tight, but it's still boxing in pretty good. If you're upside down, you're probably got a bigger problem than just worrying about your gun falling out. And now, the Glock 21. The 21 has a wider slide and a wider frame. Even though this light here for the, uh, this hollow sun light is not as wide as the TLR1s, it locks up in there pretty nice as well. I don't know if it's holding on the frame or if it's the light might help it click in. I'm not 100% sure, but it's pretty tight in there. And it looks like it's probably the frame because I think it shaves the inside of the holster a little bit. So you might want to open that up more if you're going to be running a Glock 21 or a uh, Glock 20 or a Glock 30 or 29, any of the larger frame Glocks. Now I was not sent this holster. I bought this. It was $140 shipped. Um, to me it's a good bargain just for the fact that I can use it on multiple platforms, multiple guns, with and without red dots. And uh... I don't have to worry about changing holsters. If at the most I have to change the uh, adjustment on the holster. And the Filster Floodlight is also ambidextrous. You can turn it around and use it on the other side. Like I said, I shoot left-handed. This is the way the I got it set up on my left side. But I just wanted to do a quick review on that just to show the Filster. It seems to be a really solid option for uh, multiple guns if you want to. If you run a lot of TLR ones, they also have it for the uh, PL350, I think. And I know they have it for the uh, Surefire X300s. But if you have any questions about this that I could possibly answer, just drop them in the comments. And if you've got a filter, I want to know what you think about it because I'm thinking about getting the Enigma. And as always, thanks for watching. Stay safe and let's take back our Second Amendment.